Mr. Wilson, you've been trying to convince Governor Christie to come around to your point of view for some time now. Today, he did indicate he would allow wider use of medical marijuana if the legislature were to make some changes to the bill. But you feel his decision does not go far enough. Tell us why. Uh, right, Wolf. The, uh, one of the provisions was about the doctor's approvals. It makes it an onerous steps for uh, the current law and what he's keeping as status quo is it makes a, a lot of headache and heartache for parents to go around shopping around for doctors who understand anything about medical marijuana to uh, to get them to sign up for this. So you know, for, for, for parents who are already going through a, a lot of trouble uh, just with what their children's ailments are, they now have to go through this extra step that you don't have to go through for any other uh, medical condition or, or for any other medication. Uh, Vivian already has her doctors, um, but our concern is for any other parents who might be needing this. Tell us about uh, how this decision, in your opinion, will affect your daughter. You are, you are happy with some of the changes the governor's decision brings about, uh, but, but because your daughter will be likely to get medical marijuana in a form that she can take. Is that right? Correct. So uh, overall, you know, this was a victory for us, but not a victory for all the patients in New Jersey. The, the lifting of the three strain limits was a huge victory for us and for, for, any, for everybody in the state. Uh, the, the edibles was just really confounding decision on the edibles. We were not expecting that. I don't think anybody was expecting that. They're only allowing uh, expanded edibles for children or for minors, that is. So, you know, there's Jackson Storms up in North New Jersey, was Vivian's exact same condition. He's 14 years old. So they're saying in four years, he's going to have to smoke now. Uh, he can't really take a lozenge because he's on the same diet Vivian is. So it's just a really bizarre thing. But at least for Vivian, she's going to have what she needs Sanjay, I want to play uh, uh, some of the video that we have of uh, Brian's daughter, and I want to warm, warn our viewers, it's hard to watch. In it, Vivian is having a seizure. Sanjay, will medical marijuana help stop these types of seizures? I think there's a good chance that it could. I mean, look, it, we, I think both sides agree that we need more research into this area uh, but th that research has been hard to come by. It's, uh, you're dealing with a substance that is illegal at the federal level. It's hard to do research in adults, let alone children. But I'll tell you, Wolf, um, uh, what Brian is describing uh, with Vivian is something known as Dravet syndrome. It's a, it's a form of intractable epilepsy, just very hard to treat. Brian was describing that uh, Vivian's been on several different medications. I believe he said seven different medications right. and none of them really working. I have seen a similar situation, and Brian knows as well, with, with Charlotte uh, Figgy in Colorado, where she was having some 300 seizures a week and was able to benefit from medical marijuana, where she did not need any of the medication she was taking. Based on the reporting you've done, Sanjay, for your documentary, what do you make of uh, Mr. Wilson's concerns, particularly about getting a psychiatrist involved in prescribing this kind of marijuana? What do you say about that? I will say that in July, uh, from my understanding, Governor Christie, uh, really, I thought he was leaving very much the other way. He was saying he's not going to let New Jersey become like Colorado or like California. So I think, you know, this has been described as a victory of sorts in, in a way, and I think it is. When, when Brian talks about the fact that there won't be just three strains in these dispensaries, that's actually very important. You know, when we talk about these strains... Uh, we talk about a very specific sort of strain that can help Vivian, that has helped Charlotte, that is high in CBD, cannabidiol, and low in THC, which is the stuff that is psychoactive. That, that's important. That strain is important. The fact that it can come as an oil instead of, uh, you know, having to smoke it, uh, 